There are certain tools every homeowner should own, and if you plan to do DIY projects around your house, then we recommend putting together a well-rounded toolbox. The following items are all toolbox essentials. Safety goggles for protecting your eyes during DIY projects, work gloves for protecting your hands from rough surfaces and splinters, and a mask to keep dust and fumes out of your lungs. A multi-purpose screwdriver with changeable bits or separate flathead and Phillips head screwdrivers, a set of Allen wrenches for working with Allen screws, which are often used in furniture and toys, a hammer, this is probably the most common tool and you'll need one in your toolbox, a utility knife or box cutter, and scissors. We recommend keeping a separate pair of scissors in your toolbox so you don't dirty your pair from your kitchen or office. Adjustable pliers. These are a perfect all-around fit-it type tool. You can hold on to just about anything with them. Needle nose pliers. These are great during electrical work as well as grasping small items. Voltage detector. This is important for double checking that your electrical outlets and switches are not live before you work on them. GFCI tester. This is an essential for monthly testing of your GFCI protected outlets. A stud finder, level, and tape measure. We recommend a tape measure that's retractable and 20 to 25 feet in length. Pipe wrench. This is needed for heavy duty plumbing projects and adjustable wrenches or a socket set. Small ones for little nuts in small spaces, larger for just about everything else. A five gallon bucket. You'll need this for plumbing projects, but it's also great for storing plumbing tools. An electric drill to make precise holes when hanging large pictures or making a hole in a TV cabinet for a cord. Painting supplies. We recommend a variety of paint brushes, painter's tape, and a painter's tool, also known as a five-way tool, this is a multi-purpose tool for scraping, opening, and prying. Sandpaper and a large sponge. We recommend keeping various grits of sandpaper for heavy-duty sanding to light sanding between coats of paint. Sponges are great for cleaning after sanding and wiping down work surfaces. A flashlight, cheap toothbrush, and clamps are great miscellaneous items for your toolbox. A collection of screws and nails. Whether you're hanging a picture or fixing a large hole in drywall, having various shapes and sizes can save you a trip to the hardware store electrical tape and duct tape, and of course, the toolbox. If you have any questions about these tools, call Nook and Cranny Home Inspections at 801-698-6467.